With the hunger clock ticking, Jamie decides there's only one solution, spear fishing. There we go. And while Mother Nature does provide the main component. Give it up, tree. You're going to lose. Duct tape is an integral part. I might be able to do something with that. There are three things that I can do with the duct tape to help make a spear. First, it'll allow me to attach and easily replace multiple points on the tip. Perfect. I dare say any little fish or critter wouldn't really want to get stuck by that. <laughs> Then I can also use it to mark the balance point of the shaft, which will help with accuracy. There we go. And finally, the line on the end will help me retrieve it once I've thrown it. I'm going to go catch me some fish. Well, what I've got to do is pretty straightforward. Spot a fish and spear it. Like snaring a chicken, it sounds easy in theory. OK, fish. Hold still. Oh, but in practice, yeah, it's a beach. Oh, I'm not leaving here without dinner. On the plus side, though, the duct tape spear is holding up well. I like my little string. It worked like a treat. Now if I can just get the fish to hold still. Just like fishing with a rod and reel, spear fishing is all about patience. It's not like they're going to sit there like ducks and wait for you to spear them. You've got to just hang out, wait for the right time, and then throw. And there's no time like the present. Ah! Yeah! It's about time. At last, he's nailed it. Oh, yeah, baby. Sushi for dinner. It's a great result. Sorry, little buddy, it's for a good cause. 